everyone. I hope everyone's doing great today. This is Rose and I have another unbagging from the Pink Raspberry Diamond Painting Store uh, located in southwestern Ontario, Canada. Uh, I was there on July 30th and I picked up another one of the customs that I ordered on July 8th uh, and I bought something else. So let me show you what I got. So here's my custom. And there is the kit that comes with the custom. Uh, they send you wax in a little tiny container, but that's good because you don't need to have too much wax out at any one time. It's labeled with the store name. Uh, a single placer with a three placer on the end and uh, a boat with a funnel, so that's nice. Now, one thing that the Pink Raspberry does is because they're located in southwestern Ontario, it's not that far from the border with the US. So they go down into the States and they pick up these Harbor Freight containers. Now, I know they cost... Pippi. Pippi, stop it. Now these cost, I understand, about $5 US in the United States. Um, but Harbor Freight does not ship to Canada. So the only way we can get these is to actually drive to the United States or to buy them from somebody who has done the drive to the United States. So Cheryl, the owner of um, the Pink Raspberry, from time to time goes down to the States and she picks up a bunch of Harbor Freight containers because they're very popular with her uh, customers. Now she marks them up to $20 Canadian, which is about $15 US. But given that we don't have to pay for shipping to get them here, and we don't have to pay for, well, we don't have to pay for shipping to get them from the States. If you're ordering them from somewhere else in Canada, what you might wanna do is order a diamond painting at the same time, and then uh, hopefully they'll ship together for a single price. Um, but $20 US, or $20 Canadian is not an outrageous price for something like this. So for my Canadian friends who won't have seen a Harbor Freight container before, I'm gonna open this up. Uh, where does it open? Oh, here, okay. So it's got little, um, I haven't actually opened this. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm checking it out at the same time as you all are. So my understanding is that there are 24 containers. Let's see, There's, they're too deep. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24. Yeah, 24 containers. They're quite large really really large these would probably hold about I don't know 6,000 drills so they would be great for those diamond paintings that have huge numbers of a particular color and um, and they're let's just open one of these up so they're very secure in terms of they have these little uh, tabs that snap down like a treasure chest and you can hear the snap and then they they have these hinges here and like that's that's deep and then you can just close it up again so very very secure you're not going to spill drills it's all good so I thought for 20 bucks this is a no-brainer now when I go down to the States next time I might pick up a whole bunch more um, but I don't know when that'll be that might be like a year or two from now so for now I've got one set of these and I might pick up more sets when I'm at the Pink Raspberry next time. Uh, because I did order three customs and uh, I picked up the first one when I was there on June 10th, or July 10th. I picked up the second one when I was there on July 29th or 30th, July 30th. And I am um, hopefully gonna pick up the last one the next time I'm there. Now the other thing that I picked up was the missing drills from I believe it was Wonder Woman uh, and anyway I bought 
I bought four or five diamond paintings when I was there in early July, and uh, two of the diamond paintings were each missing one color. So um, I picked up the two colors that were missing from that first set of diamond paintings that I bought. So this is the second custom that I ordered. Um, now this would be shipped in a very sturdy tube if you were ordering this uh, for shipping. Um, they put it in, I'll show you the tubes that they use for mailing. Okay, so this is the tube that uh, they would use for mailing. Take a look at how thick this is. Like I am, I'm fairly strong and I'm trying to crush this. I can't crush it. In the unboxing video for the first one that I opened uh, of my customs, I stood on this and it didn't dent it. It didn't even dent it and I am not a tiny woman, okay? Uh, they have um, a thick end cap on the end. This is like super sturdy. There is a hole in it, but this gets shipped in a bag. Uh, well, I can't remember who they use to ship to the United States. In Canada, they ship by Canpar. Um, so anyway, and shipping is reasonable. Um, so anyway, so this would have come in this tube. And I don't think it would have come in a, in a bag like this. Maybe it would. I don't know. Um, but since I went into the store, I didn't have to worry about uh, a mailing tube or any of that. So I'm just going to open this up now and check it out. We'll get rid of those Harbor Freight containers. All right. So this is what you see inside. The drills are in there. Oh, and look, another kit. And there's an inventory sheet in there as well, which I'll get in a second. Okay, so that's very nice. Um, same as the first kit. All right. So uh, they bag their own drills. Well, they do everything, okay? And, and they labeled it for me. It's Rose's Custom. Um, and the pink raspberry will do any image you want. So there are images that they have already um, made up and printed for people. Um, they do all their printing in-house, but the, you're not limited, if you want to order from them, you are not limited by what they have uh, on their website, like their Facebook page. You can literally order anything you want. So if you see a diamond painting on another diamond painting website, or AliExpress, or eBay, or Amazon, or whatever, then you can go ahead and order it. And so that's exactly what I did. I found this painting. Uh, it's called The Sorceress. Uh, I call it The Sorceress. The artist is Ciro Marchetti. And he does some really fantastical stuff. So yeah, this one I call The, uh, the Sorceress. Now, uh, I asked for it in a 60 by 90, I, or maybe a 50 by 70. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, Maybe 70, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll measure it out and then I'll check my email and I'll put up on the screen here what I ordered it. Yeah. Oh, look, there's two legends. I think I ordered 50 by 70. I'm not sure, but. Uh, I'll, I will tell you, uh, I'll put up on the screen the size that I ordered. Okay, I just want to make sure that you can see all of that. Okay, all right, let's measure from the edge of the drill area to the edge of the drill area. It is 48 by 57. Okay, so not exactly, um, like not, not a size that's going to fit perfectly in a standard frame. Uh, so I think what I would do is, and what I will do, is I will be back in touch with Cheryl just to let her know that I am looking for a diamond painting that will fit a custom frame. 
um, because I don't want to have to have like a special mat cut or anything like that. I don't want to have to ha put like a special border around it or anything. I just want to be able to slide my diamond painting into a frame. Um, so if you're very picky about the exact size of your diamond painting, you will want to make sure that the Cheryl knows that you're looking for a very particular size, okay? Um, so, yeah, now I forgot the measurements. Forty-eight. And... Fifty-seven, yeah. And this is round, and my pen is running out of ink. Um, now my Ciro Marchetti is uh, okay. So this is number this is number one eighty five in my uh, orders. Okay, so let's take a look at. Um, at the legend here. And I uh, just want to say I ordered it in a 50 by 70 approximate. Now I think what they did was to keep the proportions of the image, they had to adjust the size. Uh, sometimes what we'll find from uh, the companies in China is to make them fit in a standard size frame, like a 50 by 70 or a 60 by 90, or 60 by 80 or something like that, what they'll do is they'll actually stretch the picture in one dimension or the other, okay? Uh, or they might squash it a little bit and stretch it. Uh, they didn't do that for this. This is the image that I sent them in the proportions that I sent them. I'll put them up side by side here so that you can see. Okay, and now we will just take a look. This is a super thick canvas. Um, like this is not a floppy canvas at all. It feels like it's made of cloth with a little bit of a plasticized coating on the top here. But where a lot of our canvases that we get from China feel like they're mostly plastic or something like that, uh, this feels like it's made of canvas. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna, look at that. You can see the material. This is, this is like a cotton or something. It is not plastic. That is a, these are fibers from cloth, okay? And then it's just got a coating on this side to uh, make it smooth. All right, so um, what we see with their printing for their legend is that you get the actual color of the drill and the image, uh, sorry, and the symbol that's on top of it. Uh, so, there we go. We'll just go down the list here. Those are easy to recognize symbols, mostly letters, a few symbols. I don't like seeing cues in, um, in symbol sets because they're way too easily confused with O's or Omegas or something like that. But diamond painting companies uh, continue to use cues. Um, which is too bad, especially when there's an O, and the O here is a dark brown, and the Q is like a purple. Uh, those are going to be hard to distinguish. So I, I would I would wish that they had chosen a different letter, but there you go. All right, and this is a single piece of adhesive that they put on the diamond painting, which is fine for me. So let's pull back the adhesive and we will take a look. Oh, okay. So um, now Cheryl did tell me that when she laid this down, there was a little bit of a river. So what she did was she sliced the canvas and the uh, adhesive to get rid of that river. 
And so that's why there's a tear in the paper here. Now, okay, there is a little bit uh, of canvas here that does not have uh, adhesive on it, but she sent me home with a piece of adhesive about, I don't know, eight inches by four inches so that I can cut little pieces if I ever need them for any of my diamond paintings. And so I'll just stick that little tiny piece, a little tiny piece of adhesive here, or I'll just use some glue. And let's take a look at this. Now, I don't want to pull this all the way off, so I'm not going to go any further down than this. There is about an inch that's left uncovered, or that's left covered up here. Uh, but this is my sorceress. She looks really good. Oh my god. She looks, she looks a lot better than I had anticipated this would turn out. Uh, I think it's going to be just beautiful. Look at with the crow up here on her hat and the mandolin down here. Oh, and then the atom and the planets and all that stuff. She's gorgeous. Now, I don't know if she's a, a, a sorceress. I mean, she could be a scientist for all I know. But, uh, but she's rather fantastical. And, uh, and I do like that. Okay, here the glue was not... Pucker. There's something going on here. Just a minute. I just want to. There we go. Let's yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's uh, the glue is um, I don't know the the glue is, the adhesive is just it's a little bit um, translucent there as opposed to being completely clear. Um, but this is really nice. I think it's going to be beautiful when it's done. Yeah, it looks really good through the viewfinder. Now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take you out of the holder and. Oh, I just realized this is not oriented properly for you. Okay. So here we have the sorceress. And I want to make sure that you can see as much of this diamond painting as possible. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, so there's, as you can see, there's just like maybe two centimeters at the bottom that are still covered up with the paper. Um, it looks really, really good. Uh, you can see where the, where the glue was cut here. I'll show you that closer when, we, uh, when, we, when I take you out of the holder and bring you down to look at the canvas. Um, but that image is just beautiful. It's just beautiful, yeah, okay. Uh, rich reds, purples, blues, what's not to like? Okay, so let me take you, first we'll start up here and I'll show you the um, legend on the canvas. And this here is what I was telling you about where she cut the glue because there was um, a little bit of a a river uh, and here if you can see this area right here that's where there's just a tiny little area with no glue so I will just add a little tiny triangle of uh, the double-sided adhesive that she sent me home with okay so here we have the legend and the colors and what I do like is that uh, even though they print everything in black on here, uh, as you can see on the diamond painting itself, if it's a dark background, they print in white. And let's just move over to the face. 
where it's a light background, they print in black. So it, it makes it very easy to see. All right, so we'll just continue going down here and taking a look at the legend. So that'll be easy to do. Like I say, the only thing I don't like is the queue. I wish they wouldn't use queues, but so many companies do, and it's just, it's too bad, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so there we go, and then we'll take a look here at the drill field itself. And you can see how clear that comes out. I think you could do this without a light pad if you had to. Um, now, I've mentioned in the drill and chat that I did on the reclining mermaid, no, not the, not the reclining mermaid, the mermaid swinging uh, that I had done at uh, the pink raspberry that because this canvas is so thick, you have to have your light pad on its brightest setting to be able to see through the canvas. It's just that thick. Um, but again, like I say, it's not a problem because this is pretty clear. And especially with a pair of magnifiers or magnifying glass, whatever it is that you use to enhance your vision, um, you could probably do this without a light pad. Now I like using a light pad and I do use a light pad and it does help, but like I say, it has to be on its brightest setting. So there you go. And I do like images that are set on tapestries. So this here, the tapestry border is lovely enough that you wouldn't need to have a mat or anything like that. And so for this one, I might, I might actually get a, excuse me, a custom frame done. If I decide, to, like if, if I really, really like it, uh, I might have a custom frame made so that I can um, display it to its best effect. But yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna do inventory on the drills now. And uh, I'm gonna reorient the camera and I'll be back with you in just a moment. So just before I actually put the drills on the back of this canvas, I just want to pan up and down and show you the perfection of this canvas. I mean, that's a little divot. Could have, I don't know where that came from. It might have just been when it was in my car because uh, I threw it in the trunk with all my, all my luggage. Um, but this canvas is perfect on the back. It's perfect. Um, you don't get a canvas better than that. Okay, uh, so now on to the drills. So let's just quickly take a look at these colors. And I will put the flash on. I think I'm probably running out of juice here. But look at those colors. Beautiful. And this is the thing I love about Ciro Marchetti's art. He uses these rich, rich, bright colors. Um, but they're kind of, I don't know, it's kind of mystical and lovely. Anyway. A little bit of crinkle. weighs its drills and uh, so I'm just going to uh, do a check of a couple of colors to see whether they've given me enough okay so um, I have here a diamond painting drill weights chart and it tells you how much 
a certain quantity, so that's a 50 count, uh, how much a certain quantity of drills will weigh. Uh, this is available on my Patreon page for my patrons, okay? So uh, head on over to uh, my Patreon account. I'll put the link to that right here, right here, so that you can uh, check it out. And there will be a link down in the description as well. And I'll get my... I'll get my scale and now all I need is a drill tray. Okay, so I just took a drill tray off my, di off my um, work table. Uh, so I want to start this by zeroing it out. So I start it with the drill tray on the holder so that I know that when it zeroes out, it's accounting for the weight of the drills, uh, of the tray. So the only thing now that the scale will weigh are the actual drills. All right, here we go. All right, so this is number 154. And I am supposed to have 1,462. I have 8.32 grams. So that's between 1,600 and 1,700. So I have well over the number of drills that I need. Okay. We'll do another color. This is an old drill tray, so it's uh, not as smooth as it uh, might be. I guess it's time for me to start using another one. All right. So you see uh, it's now showing minus 6.9 grams. When I put the drill tray back on, it's zero again. So I have more than enough of the 1462, of the uh, 154. Now I'll pick one that doesn't have too many. All right, so this is 3822. And let's weigh this. The bags that they put the drills in are very, very strong. They're thick. Uh, I don't think you'll have a problem with them ripping. I think you can open them multiple times. Okay, so this is 1.52 grams. 1.5 grams is 300, uh, and 38.22, I need 112. So I have almost double the number that I need. So they are not chintzy when they're doing their counts, which I really appreciate. Okay. So that's good, 38.22. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more weighing because I'm, I'm satisfied that they do a good job. Um, I, I, I was not in doubt, but uh, I just wanted to demonstrate for you. And so now I'll just do the rest of the inventory here. And I will fast forward through the rest of this.
So I have 44 colors and my lovely assistant Micah is here because doing inventory is hard work. Now she's shading the paper, but uh, there we go, 44 colors. Everything's here. Uh, this is, I believe, number 185. I'm not sure, uh, but I think this might be 185, my Ciro Marchetti. Um, and that's it. That's the inventory. I'm happy with what I got. Oh, I see here there's one drill that's on the lip of this uh, bag. Now, my battery is uh, dying out. That's why the light went off. And so I'm just going to pick Micah up because she's blocking the light. Um, it's very cloudy here today. So anyway, so there you go. That is my Ciro Marchetti Custom. I call her the Sorceress. I had this done uh, by the Pink Raspberry Diamond Painting Store in Strathroy, Ontario. You can find them on Facebook. I'll put the Facebook link in the description down below. Um, they will do any image you send them. So don't be shy about sending them any image that you like. If you find it on another diamond painting website, if you find it uh, on the internet, if it's a personal photo or something like that, you send it to them. Uh, they do sports logos. They do um, like, you know, team logos and things like that. Uh, they have a lot of uh, teams that uh, Southwestern Ontarians like. I didn't notice that they had the Ottawa Senators up or the Ottawa Red Blacks, but you know, I, I suspect they're much more interested in the Blue Jays and the um, Toronto Argonauts and the Detroit Red Wings and the, the Maple Leafs and so forth. So anyway, um, so all that to say, they will do anything you like for them. I'm very happy with what they did for me. I am very happy that they uh, retained, whoops, that they retained the, um, the dimensions of the photo, even though it's not quite as big as I would have liked, I didn't get a photo that was squashed or stretched to fit a standard frame. So, um, so that's something that is important. I, I do like images that fit standard frames, but when I'm doing a custom, I think I would rather have one that is true to the original image that I send them. So that's something that uh, that you get with them that you don't necessarily get with the companies from China. Um, so it's something to consider. And uh, you know, you get personal customer service and, uh, and it's, there's no language barrier. Uh, so yeah, it's all great. I'm very happy with this. I am dying to get my last custom which is uh, the Blind Angel that I had posted um, on July 8th uh, before I went. I posted the image that I was requesting from them. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping that when I go later this month to London, it will be ready for me. And um, I ordered it as a square, so they had to order the drills for me and, because they keep round drills in stock, but they don't have all the colors of squares yet, so they have to order those from time to time. And uh, I'm dying to get that one because it's gonna be so beautiful, oh my God. And I got it in as close to a 60 by 90 as I could get it. Um, so again, they'll probably adjust depending on uh, you know the actual dimensions of the original image that I sent them, but uh, it'll be something around a 60 by 90. Uh, so there we go, that's it, that's my review. Uh, I'm happy with this. I will be ordering from them again. I expect that I will have a long-standing relationship with them. I have seen, okay, so they were, they opened officially on June 21st. Uh, today is, well, I was there last on July 30th to pick this up. And um, I noticed a tremendous improvement in their skill in laying adhesive on a diamond painting uh, since I was there the first time. And that's just, that was in like two, well, three weeks. Um, I expect that, you know, over the coming weeks, they will become that much more proficient at laying uh, the adhesive down more, more perfectly. So, uh, so, you know, this is early days for them. They've only started printing their own canvases in, I believe it was June. 
uh, so, um, so they're learning, but they're learning really fast. So I encourage you to check them out and um, you know see what you would get. Uh, I'll tell you about the price for this. So when I went in, I paid $100 in total for my order. Uh, my order included this. It included the Harbor Freight boxes. So that was, um, that was $20. It included the uh, blank canvas and uh, drills that uh, I was ordering for my viewer down in the States who can't, uh, who can't do her own orders. Um, that was $20. And what else did I get? I guess that was, I thought I got something else. The one thing I wish is that I had gotten like a, an itemized invoice. Uh, but um, so $20 for the Harbor Freight, $20. So I think I paid $60 for this. Okay, everybody. So that's it. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you will come back and visit with me in the future. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that now. Uh, if you haven't yet given this a thumbs up and you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um do leave me a comment down below let me know what you think and i will be back to you again soon thanks everybody bye bye